John, a 1 1 draw this afternoon against Inverness. In the end, did you feel it was a, a good point gained? Yep, I do actually, but I felt we had done enough in the second half to win the, win the game. I think we created numerous chances. And I felt that we should have had a second penalty. It was more evident to me than the, the one we got. Saying that, it was O'Hara's chance. And even at that, you know, the goalkeeper saved it with his feet another half yard to the side and it's in the back of the net. But it's our job, I said to him at half time, we owe it to the supporters to be on the front foot and be brave and play, you know, with a real desire. And I think we got that in the second half. If I was a supporter, I'd be absolutely delighted. My frustration is, if we can do that for 90 minutes, the points were staying here in Dunfermline. But we're up against a good Inverness team. It'll be there or thereabouts come the end of the season. Uh, and the second half performance, certainly they knew they were in a game. And we did do enough to win it. So disappointed. Uh, it's only a point, but it keeps that winning run going. In terms of the, the first half uh, performance, it, it didn't seem like there was much in the game, so you would have been frustrated to go and 1 0 down. No, 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 you're right. But And I'm trying to think that they're probably, and it's the same old story one shot at the have it go, it's in the back of our net. You know, it doesn't seem to happen for us like that. We have to really go and work at it. Um, but it's football, that's part and parcel of football. So I say to the boys, you know, let's be brave. Everything that we're trying to do, implement, come on. You know, we needed to stretch the game, this goalkeeper in the centre-halves needed to get us playing. So they had to come out and press us. That gives us room to play in the first half. We were just kicking it, so there's no room to get our football uh, style going. We were brave with our subs. It gave us a little bit of impetus uh, in terms of going forward. And at times we, we controlled the game second half. So I'm just absolutely delighted for the boys. I've seen some good performances since I've come here. That second half performance in terms of a desire, a willingness, a spirit, a character, to, no matter even when we're getting beat 1-0, no matter what, we're going to have a right go and see where it takes us. That's probably been the best that it's been in terms of... I've seen us playing better football, but in terms of the character and the spirit to get, to get something out of the game, that's probably been the best. And as I say, on another day we could have won it. You've spoken in the past about playing two up front, you managed to do that in the second half and it, it really seemed to work really well as you touched on there and especially when you brought Rhys Cole and it, it really seemed to stretch Inverness, his range of passion really seemed to, to help us keep the ball forward and create chances. Yeah, well, the thing about it, in the first 10 minutes, we changed it in the first 10 minutes, I mean, a wee dis, disjointed shape in terms, uh, Dills are sort of just coming in behind the two strikers, getting the striker, took Paul Allen off, but letting um, Josh Edwards run that whole length for that left-hand side and the other three just swivel around, albeit it worked to uh, um, Aaron wanting to go as well, and it was Dan that was doing that sort of front screen and stuff and getting on the ball and running the show. And then Coley just coming on, same as Toddy, he was just coming on playing underneath it, but it's a long passes, turning them, turning them, turning them. You know, it's all this stuff. If I'm a supporter, and I'm watching Dunfermline over the weeks, which I am, because when I watch a game, I'm looking for them to do what we work on the training pitch. I'm looking for my team to be up on seconds, balls over the top, get up in the seconds, shots, crosses, plenty of crosses, get it in the box, play the game in another team's half. That's what we did the second half. That's what we try to coach. That's when we were at our best. Doesn't guarantee you've got to win games, but it's our job, especially at home, to do that, entertain the supporters and get them right behind us. And I'd like to see us get that goal in front, you know, that goal in front and see if we can keep going and do it for 90 minutes. We seem to be slow starters, um, and it can't be that. We have to be at it for 90 minutes, but all credit to them. I've, I really am proud of them. It was a, a big moment with the penalty, with Stephen Wallace stepping up there. A, a big kick in Dunfermline season, and that could be a, a real boost going forward. Getting that point today could be really crucial. Well, you're the stats man here, you know. Is that the first penalty we've had this year? Possibly, I'll put that out to the supporters. So. I'm, I'm guessing I'll put my head on the block and see it probably is. And I seen them arguing about the penalty the other day there. But you just see him and Lewis. But you see the spirit amongst them, big Lewis getting the ball and hand it to him if they say, it's all yours, Stephen. I seen them practising the other day there. So I didn't look at the penalty. I've got a habit of doing that. So I was delighted to go in. Uh, and it's a break that we probably need. You know, but we missed... Good chances, you know, as I say, uh, probably the other one, 
There was one when I got fizzed across and my can just couldn't get his head on it. Uh, the O'Hara one, although it was a penalty, we were shooting for the penalty before. You know that one. Um, and we really took the game to them second half. So, uh, really pleased. And we keep doing that. You know, you just need to keep doing that. Don't stick to the process. The rest will take care of itself uh, and turn this place into a fortress. You'll be pleased to get as many Dunfermline supporters in the ground today as you did and you'll be hoping for a, a large majority of them to head to Dumfries next weekend. I'm quite sure they will. They're right behind the players, they're right behind what we're trying to do. I think they're getting a, I think they've seen a, an uplift in uh, performances. Um, yeah, we had a bad one against Morton, but I did say that could be the making of us. Um, a real uplift in performances. And it, it's no easy, you know, you think that you just turn up. There is a science to it, there is a you know, to dominate the ball and play our football on the front foot, especially where we are in the league. It takes a real, real strong character to do that. And that's all credit to the players for doing that. Uh, and long may that continue because confidence and momentum's everything in football. So I say to them after the morning game, that's it, I've, I've, I've had enough. We're not getting beat for now to the end of the season. Make sure that's what you go and play on. I'm not sure that'll happen. But we play like we did in the second half, then Queen of the South will know they've been in a game. Tricky surface, but no excuses. We're in a no-excuse environment. We train on Astro Tough every day, so bring it on.